Best cloud gaming services. Uh oh. I feel a fight a grew a brewing. I feel a fight brewing. Uh, I think I'm about to get triggered, guys. I'm going to get triggered. What is this? Xbox Game Pass Cloud Gaming. NVIDIA GeForce Now. PlayStation Plus Premium. Amazon Luna. Google Stadia. The dream of cloud gaming is the ability to play PC or console games on any device, anywhere, regardless of how low power your hardware is. It promises you won't have to worry about updates, patches, or upgrades. And the dream has come true to a large extent, making streaming games a reality. Cloud gaming has some f has come far since the hype train left the station in 2018. There's still no guarantee that you will have a seamless, consistent experience, but it has reached the point where it feels like you can sit down and start playing without getting bogged down by glitches, at least most of the time. Network issues remain, but Wi-Fi 6 and 6E and 5G cell services have helped smooth over the rough spots. It's still not a great option, however, if you live in or travel to places where uh, w somewhere with poor connectivity or if your broadband costs are exorbitant. But from a gamer's perspective, there are really only five major options dedicated to gaming as opposed to general PCs as a service like Shadow or Claw. Uh, closed network solutions like console remote play or steam link xbox cloud gaming part of xbox game pass ultimate one of our top page top game subscription services nvidia geforce now wait so that's xcloud nvidia playstation plus premium amazon luna and google stadia i don't like that they put google stadia at the end i hope it's alphabetical oh it can't be alphabetical if xbox is up there <laughs> And of those five, only Xbox and GFN really deliver on the... Pr what the f And of those five, only Xbox and GFN really deliver on the promise. Promise of what? But from a gamer's perspective, there are really only five major options dedicated to gaming. Whatever's... <clears throat> The Luna has its high points. The only non-PlayStation that PlayStation Plus Premium works on is PCs. And while Stadia's got strong underlying technology, Google seems more interested in making money off the platform rather than a consumer service and it's effectively let it language. Shut up. The two top choices are completely different from one another as well. Xbox Game Pass Ultimate streams games from its subscription library, while GeForce Now streams games you already own. As long as they're supported, if you can afford it and already have a large library, they can complement each other nicely. Sure. Okay. Um, and they just break them down. Okay. Uh, Xbox Game Pass Cloud Game. Xbox Game Pass delivers something for everyone. Library has close to 500 games, almost 400 of which are playable via the... as 475 games, 390-something. Okay. And some features such as the frustrating play with touch feel like they're still in beta. Plus, as with many libraries, games come uh, again also limited to 1080p at 60 frames per second yep 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 pricing starts at free basic 1080 streaming for hour long sessions and wraps up to as much as 20 a month um if you pay six months up front for all the perks including streams up to 4k 60 frames per second hdr or 40 41 20 for eight hour sessions, ray tracing, priority server access, and access to the highest power servers. PlayStation. <clears throat> PlayStation now in 2014, that's when it launched. Uh, you, uh, you'd think Sony would have added a lot of more capabilities. Yeah, they were being lazy with it. Important, incorporated a relatively large catalog of older titles. Something. He sees like Xbox Game Pass Ultimate Cloud Gaming, though you can stream games to your console if you're strapped for storage space or want to try it before you buy. Mm -hmm. 
a less than two years old amazon luna is less than two years old and has expanded since it's launched but it seems to get no love from its parent company it's nearly impossible to find the service on amazon site although you'll see lots of promotions for the optional optional luna controller you don't need amazon's controller to play games though or through luna but the controller can connect directly to your wi-fi network for the lowest latency possible uh, bah, 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 bah. what makes it stand out is a large number of kid-friendly titles and it's relatively granular parental controls for managing what they can or can't play so if stadia gets kids games they make fun of them because no triple a games but if luna has kid games it's a um, standout feature so you get and i like luna i'm not saying this is luna's fault i'm just saying it's interesting so you get the time limited freebies and perks plus integrated broadcasting via twitch since it comes with a prime subscription if you're already a member you really don't lose anything it can get in the fact that you have i have prime and i have four games that right now at this point i'm not really interested so i gotta wait for next month to get the new games which i won't be here for so i'm not gonna be able to play so we'll see it can get expensive fast though the service is mod uh, modeled after prime video as a prime member you get access to the base games and the luna plus channel which is essential as a prime member you get access to the base games and the luna plus no you don't which is essentially the core game library of a little more than 120 games you can also subscribe to it separately for 10 so this so this is bad journalism right there <clears throat> this is bad journalism as a prime member you get access to the base games you don't you only get access for to four games four to five games and they rotate and the luna plus channel yeah you can also subscribe to it separately for 10 per month with a seven day free trial they're mostly older titles without many AAA games see so they get hit for it too uh and and unlike other service services you can't buy individual games in order to continue to play them via the cloud like stadia pro or locally see you don't even need stadia pro man get it right or locally without losing progress when they leave the rotation but you can download it <laughs> uh google stadia stadia will be three years old in november but it seems like google still hasn't figured out what to do with it as a service the underlying technology is solid, but the service feels like it hasn't evolved at all in the interim. Still offering only 51 titles for the subscription tier. I don't think they need to go more than 51. That's one per week for a full year, and you keep adding to them. See, that's just that's just another... Mm, it's 150-something if you never left. Google shuttered its game studio over a year ago. Of course, they have to mention that. Uh, over a year ago, and in March, the company launched its immersive stream for games platform, which third parties can license in order to create their own streaming offerings. There are only two tiers for Stadia, free and pro. You can try Stadia Pro for a month free, and after that, it's 10 a month. If you buy a Stadia game, you don't need to maintain your subscription to play it, but it will only play via Stadia. It runs on Chrome and it's support, but it only plays with via Stadia on your phone, on your Chromebook, on your tablet, on your PC, on your TV, on your <laughs> on your watch. It runs in Chrome and it supports 4K and 60 frames per second for a few of the titles. So hey, what's up, cowboy? I know, yeah, I know. You, you got me right when I'm getting heated from this article. So uh, good timing, good timing. It operates via an app on compatible Android phones, browsers, Chrome for PC and Mac, Safari for iPhone and iPad, on a TV via Chromecast. One benefit of Google's push for third-party licenses is that Stadia has accumulated a nice-sized library. See? Nice-sized library of free game trials that you can play without an account. They're not very long. They range from 30 minutes to two hours, but they include higher profile titles like Assassin's Creed Valhalla and Far Crisis. Why is it at the bottom? <clears throat> Who's this guy, man? I need to talk to this guy. I need to send him a Karen email. <laughs> Dear sir, I don't appreciate you. <laughs> I would too. 
if I had the time. 